Hey, it's Tick, and today we're going to do Tick's audio setup on the TP show. First thing I use uh, in my audio setup is a microphone. Not any microphone. I use a Shure SM57. I like the way that it sounds, and also uh, I had it. On top of that, I add a windscreen made out of a mitten. Yeah, you can use a windscreen. I use a mitten. Uh, I use it because it works, and uh, I had it, and it's kind of funny looking. On top of that, uh, or into that, I take the cable into the UHD 404 by Behringer. I'm only using one input, and I'm not sure exactly where I have the gain knob, but I know it's not too high, probably around 60 or 70 percent. That, of course, is going into my computer with Ableton Live Lite, and Ableton Live Lite is a digital audio workstation, and because of that, it has VST3 plugins, and I have a few of those in my signal path. The first one Clarity VX. And as you can see, we're live right now and it's working. Now, the reason I'm using the Clarity VX is because I have a laptop fan, I have a computer fan, I have a light, I have a this, I have a that. There's a lot of noise in this room. So Clarity VX helps me work that out and I put it on the broad setting and it gives me a pretty good sound. Now it's going into the SSL, Solid State Logic G Channel by Waves. And of course, I peaked it. So what I'm going to do is turn the peak off and try not to peak again during this lovely thing that we're doing right here. Of course, I've lost my place, so I have no idea how to set this up correctly. I mean, I did my best. I like the way that the gate cuts in. Uh, it seems a bit aggressive, but it actually works really well for me. Uh, the compressor gives it a nice warmth. The analog switch, of course, makes it completely analog, even though this is completely digital. And on the left-hand side, I did everything to taste. Uh, obviously, you're going to twiddle knobs until you get what you like, and I'm sure I did it wrong. And I don't know all the buttons on here, like the red button with the circle and the line through it down in the LED view meter area. Uh, no idea what that is. I, I, it probably means that I turned something off, but I have no idea. Now that leads me into the LoudMax plugin. Now what the LoudMax plugin allows me to do is get it as loud as possible without going over the top, without it clipping. And if you notice, I kind of have it pulled back here because my uh, SSL is having a tendency to go a little bit hot. Now with some digital things, it'll clip. But what I noticed is that the SSL kind of gives it a warmth when it goes too hot sometimes. Um, and you know, I could be wrong. Now out of my Ableton Live plugin strip, I then take it NDI. Yep, NDI, that's Tick's microphone. And when I'm using NDI, it allows me to take it directly out of Ableton and directly over to my software that I use. And that software is VMAX. And there's my whole signal chain and you get to see the whole production. Uh, the master shot's the first one and then my microphone's the second. And then you get to see all the different assets all the way across. So that's Tix Audio Setup for the TP show. I hope you enjoyed it. Yes, it's overly complicated. Yes, I could probably make it more simplistic. Am I going to? Probably not. In fact, I'll probably make it more complicated in the future. And do you know why? Because I kind of like the way it sounds. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking out my walkthrough of Dick's audio setup for the TP show. I should turn all these off again before I, before I leave. So, yeah, get that one, and this one, and this one, and that one, and that one, and this one, and this one, and that one, and that one. Oh, yeah, and then don't forget to turn the lights out. Bye, everybody.